Elon Musk just attacked Apple on the website formerly known as Twitter, threatening to ban Apple devices across all his companies due to the security violations posed by Apple intelligence. You see, Apple just made a deal with OpenAI to integrate ChatGPT into their new AI ecosystem, prompting Elon to post, it's patently absurd that Apple isn't smart enough to make their own AI, yet is somehow capable of ensuring that OpenAI will protect your security and privacy. So what's actually going on here? Is there any truth to what Elon's saying? Will OpenAI have access to sensitive information on your iPhone? There's a lot to cover here, and by the end of this video, Elon, if you're watching, I hope you correct your misinformation. So let's start with what Apple Intelligence is. To put it simply, Apple Intelligence is an advanced suite of proprietary algorithms and machine learning models integrated within Apple's ecosystem designed to enhance device functionality through predictive analytics, contextual awareness, and real-time data processing. Um, I mean, you can create your own emojis. There's four main capabilities Apple focused on when introducing Apple Intelligence. The ability to understand and create language, as well as images, and the ability for Siri to take action on your behalf by having a greater understanding of your personal context. These capabilities power a whole suite of new experiences. The language and text-based AI will be used to power new writing tools, which will help you proofread, rewrite, and summarize your writing. And this will extend beyond what you write and apply to text all across your device, meaning Apple intelligence can determine which notifications are most important, as well as create summaries for long emails or text conversations you need to catch up on. This will even apply to voice memos and phone calls, meaning you can now record, transcribe, and summarize audio. Next, Apple intelligence can generate completely original images utilizing new tools like Image Playground. You can choose from a range of concepts or provide a description or even someone from your contacts and Apple Intelligence will generate an entirely new image. Within the Notes app, you can get the same result using the image wand, which turns rough sketches into more fleshed out images, or you can circle an empty area and it'll create an image just using the context surrounding it. And then what I think is gonna be a lot of people's favorite feature to play with is the ability to create your own unique emojis, which Apple is calling Genmoji. And once you create a Genmoji, it will behave the exact same way as regular emoji, including the brand new ability in iOS 18 to use them as reactions and message tapbacks. In addition to image generation, Apple intelligence extends to images and videos in your photo library making search way more powerful and giving you new editing tools like cleanup, which can identify and remove distracting objects or people in the background of a photo. And another new feature called Memory Movie, which will generate a custom movie with a story arc, all based off a description you provide. Finally, the last aspect of Apple Intelligence is a brand new, super powerful Siri. It has a new design, a much better understanding of natural language, and the ability to type to it instead of speaking just by double tapping the bottom of the screen. Siri now has an understanding of all the information on your device and can use it to help you find whatever you're looking for. It also has an awareness of what is happening on your screen while you're talking to it, and it can take action across your apps all without you lifting a finger. So for example, one of the situations Apple showcased was a friend sending their new address in a message. All you need to say is, add this to their contact card. Siri will know what you're talking about and take care of it. Siri looks to be finally turning into a true personal assistant. So these capabilities and experiences look pretty amazing, but how exactly does ChatGPT and OpenAI fit into this picture? To answer that, we first need to understand the architecture powering Apple Intelligence and how it was built with privacy at its core. Apple Intelligence uses Apple's own large language models, diffusion models, and generative models, along with a semantic index that can feed relevant personal data from across your apps into these models to better assist you. This technology requires a lot of processing power, which is why it's limited to products with Apple's most advanced silicon, specifically the iPhone 15 Pros and any iPad or Mac with an M series chip. The majority of Apple Intelligence features are processed locally on device. What this means is nobody else has access to your personal data. Nobody is collecting it. It's all happening entirely on your device instead of remotely in the cloud on some server somewhere. Now, the second aspect of Apple intelligence happens remotely in the cloud on a server somewhere. You see, this is how the majority of AI works today. Remote servers can use large server-based models that are too big to fit into our phones, but are a lot more powerful. However, this is where the privacy concerns start to come in. As Apple laid out, Servers could be used to store your data and then used in ways you did not intend. And even if a company says they're not misusing your data, there's no way to verify their claims. Apple is extending the same security you have locally on your device into the cloud to handle more complex requests without compromising your privacy. And they're doing it with something they call private cloud compute. 
With private cloud compute, Apple Intelligence can take advantage of Apple's larger models by accessing servers Apple created with their own custom silicon and a new operating system they designed specifically for privacy. When you make a request, Apple Intelligence analyzes whether it can be processed on device. If it needs greater computational capacity, it can draw on private cloud compute and send only the data that's relevant to your task to be processed on Apple Silicon servers. Your data is never stored or made accessible to Apple. It's used exclusively to fulfill your request. And just like your iPhone, independent experts can inspect the code that runs on these servers to verify this privacy promise. This unique combination of on-device intelligence with private cloud compute sets a new standard for privacy and artificial intelligence. So again, we're left wondering, how does ChatGPT and OpenAI come into all this? Well, it doesn't. Everything I've talked about so far is Apple intelligence, but absolutely none of it has anything to do with OpenAI or ChatGPT. It's Apple's own AI models running on their own hardware, whether that be your personal device or their own private servers. So this already dispels Elon's claim that Apple can't design its own AI. But Apple's AI focuses primarily on you, the user, and all the information you have stored on your device. When it comes to broader world knowledge or specialized area of expertise or writing an entire essay from scratch, that's where the option to use ChatGPT comes into play. Apple has integrated it into some of their Apple intelligence features, but it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to use them. So for example, when you ask Siri something, it may determine ChatGPT is the best resource. It'll then ask you for permission every time whether or not it should share your request with ChatGPT. Siri then only shares the bits of data that are necessary to complete your request. If your question involves a photo, it's just that one photo that is being shared with ChatGPT. OpenAI does not have access to all your data like Elon Musk is claiming. In fact, here's Apple executives Craig Federici and Greg Joswiak addressing some of these concerns. It's probably, it's probably worth clarifying. You know, we talk about it sort of built in, the integration built into the system. The integration is turned off by default. So when you, when you first, yeah, I mean, I don't know if that's good, but it, 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 it's a thing that, that when, you know, if, if there were ever a time when uh, you, the system thought that you might want to use uh, ChatGPT, it's going to say, do you want to set this up? Right. You know, it's, it's not, there's nothing that's happening automatically or whatever. You have to say, yes, I want to enable this feature. Um, and, uh, you know, if someone for some reason just n never wants it to be suggested to them a a at all, uh, they also can just say, you know, uh, never ask. I have no interest in this. Feature. Right. And so, so if you this isn't somehow, you know, insidiously integrated right. and yeah. re-enabled or anything like this, it's just available if someone wants to turn it on. Right. Well, anything... and, and, and it's free and it doesn't require a subscription and your IP address is obscured and your requests are not logged, you know, so there's a lot of really there's, cool There's things. a lot we did to make yeah. sure that if you were going to use it, that it was as good as it could be. So essentially, Apple Intelligence and the OpenAI integration are two completely different things. Any request that can't be processed on your device will be processed using private cloud compute. And if private cloud compute can't yet handle that request, it'll then ask you for permission as to whether or not you want to use ChatGPT. And if you say, no, don't ever ask me that, it won't ever ask you that. But I will say, I think some of the concerns Elon Musk has raised about artificial intelligence in general are warranted. For example, AI chatbots coming across as arbiters of truth, even though they quite frequently say things that are not accurate, is a valid concern. Apple combats this a little bit whenever Siri presents a response back from ChatGPT by adding the warning label, check important information for mistakes. But overall, I think Elon's response to Apple intelligence is really unfortunate and demonstrated a complete lack of understanding as to what it actually is. And given how vocal he's been about the need to be careful when messing with artificial intelligence, he really should be applauding Apple's efforts in prioritizing privacy and security in their services. Uh, my biggest fear in one word, <laughs> AI. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, leaving a comment, or sharing it with your friends. Sharing it with Elon. <laughs> if you want to check out one of my other videos, you can do so right here. I'm Nick Bradley. Thank you so much for watching.